The man is holding a hat in his hand. The man is holding a hat in his hand. Some books are piled up on the table. Some books are piled up on the table. There are chairs in front of the door of the house. There are chairs in front of the door of the house. Receptionist Sales representative Personnel manager Secretary Corporate executive Colleague Newly hired employee Accountant Attorney Mechanic Supervisor Physician Radio show host Shop clerk Car dealer Travel agent Real estate agent Proposal Quarter Conference Reputation Tech support Make a photocopy Be out of paper Submit a report Revise a document Make a presentation Reply to an email Confirm an order Mail a package Apply for a position. Offer a position. Get a promotion. Be in charge of. Shipment. Delivery. Travel arrangement. Travel expense. Negotiate. Draw up a contract. Finalize an agreement. Achieve our sales targets. Half off the regular price. Prescribe some medicine. Repair equipment. Make a reservation. Reschedule an appointment. Have you submitted the sales report yet? Have you submitted the sales report yet? How long has it been since you joined the company? How long has it been since you joined the company? The sales report was submitted to Mr. Patterson this morning. The sales report was submitted to Mr. Patterson this morning. Flowers are being watered. Flowers are being watered. Newly hired employees are required to attend the orientation. Newly hired employees are required to attend the orientation. All employees are expected to participate in the conference. All employees are expected to participate in the conference. We ordered four boxes of copy paper because the supply shop was offering a 10% discount. We ordered four boxes of copy paper because the supply shop was offering a 10% discount. Flight 702 has been cancelled due to mechanical trouble. Flight 702 has been cancelled due to mechanical trouble. The reason for calling this meeting is so that I can explain our company regulations. The reason for calling this meeting is so that I can explain our company regulations. 
All of the shirts on this rack are 50% off. However, no exchanges or refunds are possible. All of the shirts on this rack are 50% off. However, no exchanges or refunds are possible. Please submit the application form in advance. Otherwise, you cannot attend the workshop. Please submit the application form in advance. Otherwise, you cannot attend the workshop. The library will be closing in 15 minutes. Therefore, please go to the circulation desk if you wish to borrow some books. The library will be closing in 15 minutes. Therefore, please go to the circulation desk if you wish to borrow some books. If you apply for our membership card now, there is no registration fee. In addition, you will be offered a voucher for future purchases. If you apply for our membership card now, there is no registration fee. In addition, you will be offered a voucher for future purchases. We apologize for any inconvenience. We apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for your cooperation. I appreciate your cooperation. I appreciate your cooperation. Before we begin. Before we get started. Before we begin. Before we get started. Before we close the meeting. Before we close the meeting. I'd like to make an appointment. I'd like to make an appointment. I'd like to reschedule an appointment. I'd like to reschedule an appointment. A. He's cleaning around his chair. B. He's leaning back in his chair. C. He's shutting down his computer. D. He's putting on his tie. A. They're looking at the computer screen. B. They're seated across from each other. C. One man is holding a camera. D. They're both wearing glasses. A. The lawn is being cut. B. The street is crowded with traffic. C. Flowers are being planted. D. Chairs are arranged around a table. A. The cars are inside the parking garage. B. The cars are facing each other. C. The cars are side by side. D. The cars are leaving the parking lot. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. She's holding her glasses in her hand. B. She's drinking a beverage. C. She's getting up from the chair. D. She's preparing a folder. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. Clothing is draped over a chair. B. A bag has been placed on the floor. C. The woman is setting up the chairs. D. The papers are being handed out. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. Their feet are under the table. B. 
They are both reading. C. They are wearing long sleeved shirts. D. They are having a conversation. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The chairs are being used. B. The people are ready to study. C. The books are piled up. D. The lamps are over the desks. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The mailbox is in front of the house. B. The vehicle is parked on the road. C. The door to the garage is open. D. The truck is being washed. Day 三 Part 2 Auto 問題 Del 順一例題 When did you join the company? A. It's a great company. B. No, I already did that. C. Just last year. Del 順二例題 Have you finished making the copies yet? A. Yes, it's really delicious. B. No, the machine's out of paper. C. It's down the hall on the left. Del 順三例題 The copies you asked for are on your desk, Ms. Williams. A. Actually, I prefer tea. B. Thank you very much, Kevin. C. She's not at her desk right now. Del 順四例題 Would you like a window seat or one on the aisle? A. Something on the aisle, please. B. Please remain seated. C. Yes, two, please. Number one. Who's in charge of travel arrangements? A. We're going to Boston. B. You can charge travel expenses on your credit card. C. Marcy Smith in public relations. Number two. When do you think the meeting will end? A. Why don't they meet tomorrow, too? B. Three o'clock at the earliest. C. It's in the conference room. Number three. How far is the next service area? A. Three weeks ago. B. There's one just past the next exit ramp. C. Their service is better than I expected. Number four. Why do you think sales are down so much this quarter? A. I can lend you some money if you need it. B. The sale starts on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. C. Winter is always a slow season for us. Number five. What's the weather supposed to be like this weekend? A. Cloudy with a chance of rain. B. I'm not sure whether I can go. C. Friday is the end of the business week. Number six. Why don't we have lunch downtown today? A. Lunch was so good, wasn't it? B. I'm sorry, I didn't look there. C. Good idea. Where should we go?
Number 7. Are you ready to make your presentation this afternoon? A. About 90 minutes at most. B. I sure am. I prepared all day yesterday. C. I love the present you gave me. Number 8. Didn't you take the train to work this morning, like usual? A. Actually, Bob gave me a ride. B. Yes, I usually walk home by myself. C. No, I don't like to exercise very much. Number 9. You're originally from Boston, aren't you? A. No, I'm from New York. B. No, that's only a copy. C. No, it's too far from here. Number 10. Do you think we'll be able to achieve our sales targets this quarter? A. Without a doubt, we will. B. The sale ends on Monday. C. No, it costs more than that. Number 11. Could you mail this package when you have a chance? A. There's a chance I'll meet him later. B. May I open the present now? C. Sure, as soon as I finish this email. Number 12. I can't believe how cold it is today. A. Yes, I'm freezing too. B. Can you warm it up for me? C. Isn't it scheduled for tomorrow? Number 13. There's an open accounting position in our Phoenix office. A. No, we rented that office yesterday. B. Really? How can I apply for it? C. I closed that account last year. Number 14. Would you like a single room or a double room, Mr. Collins? A. Yes, that's perfect. B. A single is fine. C. Would you like one too? Number 15. Are you planning on buying a new television set or are you going to keep your old one for a while longer? A. It has been a while since we've seen him. B. I can't afford a new one right now. C. This news program is really long. Day 4, Part 3, Taiwan Mondai. Deljun 1, Deidai. Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following conversation. Have you heard anything about the accounting job you applied for? Yes, I had an interview last week. The company offered me a position as the assistant director of accounting. I have to decide by tomorrow whether to take it. That's great news. We'll sure miss you here if you leave, though. Thanks. I'll really hate to leave colleagues like you, but it is an offer that's hard to pass up. Number 1. What is this conversation mainly about? Number 2. What area does the woman work in? Number 3. Who is the man? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following conversation. I'm really having trouble with my computer. The system keeps crashing. That's strange. We all got new machines last month. It must be a software problem. 
Have you tried reloading the software? Yes, twice, but it didn't seem to help. You'd better call someone from the tech support staff. They'll come right over and help you fix it. Number one, where does this conversation probably take place? Number two, what is the woman having a problem with? Number three, what does the man suggest the woman do? Delusion Sang De Dai. Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following conversation. Blackwell Manufacturing, how may I direct your call? I'm trying to reach Carla Simmons in shipping. We've ordered some items that haven't arrived yet. Carla is on another line right now. Shall I put you through to her voicemail? No, thanks. I'll just send her an email. Number 1. Who is the woman? Number two, why is the man calling? Number three, what does the man plan to do next? Delusion Yong, Dai. Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following conversation. Sharif, did you receive the report I sent you this morning as an attachment to my email? I'm still waiting for your feedback. Actually, Tanya, I was just about to reply to your email. I wasn't able to open the file. My computer doesn't support the format you sent it in. OK, let me fax a copy over to your office right now. I need to have your comments by the end of the day. Got it. I'll lick it over carefully as soon as I receive it. Number one. What does the woman want from the man? Number two. What is the man's problem? Number three. What will the man likely do next? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following conversation. The nurse checked your temperature and she told me you're running a fever. Do you have any other symptoms? I felt really bad for the past two days. I've also got a headache and a stuffy nose. Well, I think you've caught the cold virus that's going around. I'll prescribe you some medicine, and you should take a couple of days off from work until you feel better. Number one. Where does this conversation most likely take place? Number two. What is the woman's problem? Number three. What will the woman probably do tomorrow? Questions four through six refer to the following conversation. Have you checked out the bookstore's new website yet? I did. I recently started learning French, so I ordered a dictionary and some study books from it. They were delivered in only two days. Well, that's a normal delivery time, isn't it? I mainly liked the fact that there were lots of convenient links to related products. I got a great deal on reading glasses. Number four. What are the speakers discussing? Number five, what did the woman order?
Number six. What does the man say he was impressed with? Questions seven through nine refer to the following conversation. Could you tell me the best way to get to Danville from here? Well, the freeway towards Marystown is normally the fastest way, but it's pretty crowded at this time of day. I think your best bet is to use the Barton Road. Danville is about five kilometers this side of Barton. How long do you think it will take to get there? I'm supposed to meet my cousin for dinner at five thirty. Let's see. It's four fifteen now. You should be able to get there in about forty-five minutes. That should get you there in plenty of time to meet your cousin. Number seven. What is the woman asking the man about? Number eight. Where does the woman want to go? Number nine. What will the woman likely do when she gets to her destination? Questions ten through twelve refer to the following conversation. Hi, Mark. This is Jan. I just wanted to check that you booked my flight to New York for next Monday. Yes, I did, but I couldn't get a seat in business class. For Monday, economy class was the best I could do. But you know I hate flying economy. There's not enough leg room, and I need to have room to work. Listen, since my meetings don't start until Wednesday, what's the availability in business class for Tuesday? I thought you might ask about that. So, as a backup, I also booked you a seat in business class on Tuesday, just in case. I'll just cancel your Monday reservation, and you can fly the next day instead. Number ten. Why does the woman telephone the man? Number eleven. When will the woman fly to New York? Number twelve. Why does the woman want to fly business class? Questions thirteen through fifteen refer to the following conversation. I met with the music company's lawyers yesterday. I think we're very close to completing a deal on making the CD. It just needs your approval. I'm still not happy with the price they're asking to rent the recording studio. Oh, I already negotiated a reduction in cost. They gave us a twenty percent discount. I'll drop the contract, and it'll be ready for your signature later today. Great. I'll stop by your law office in the morning to finalize the agreement. Number thirteen. What is most likely the woman's occupation? Number fourteen. What is the man concerned about? Number fifteen. What will the man do tomorrow? Day five, part four. Explanation problem. デルジュン一、例題。Questions one through three refer to the following telephone message. Mr. Patterson, this is Jenny, Doctor Milligan's receptionist. I'm calling to see if it's possible to change your appointment on Friday, January twenty-fifth. Doctor Milligan has been asked to give a lecture at Talbot State University on that date, so he will be out of town and unable to meet you. He'll only be gone a couple of days, so he could meet you either Monday the twenty eighth or the next day, Tuesday the twenty ninth. Could you call me at five 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 eight seven eight seven to reschedule your appointment any time between nine a.m. and five p.m. Monday through Friday? Thank you for your understanding. Number one, who is Jenny?
Number 2. What is the purpose of this message? Number 3. What should Mr. Patterson do? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following announcement Attention, all GMART shoppers! For the next 10 minutes and 10 minutes only, all steaks and ground meat will be on sale for 50% off. That's right! Everything from hamburger meat to New York steaks will be half off GMART's regular low price. The meat section is located in the rear of the store, between the dairy section and the bakery. No coupons or other discounts apply, but with these prices, you don't need them. Our next 10 minute special will be just before the store closes this evening. So come to the back of the store right now to take advantage of this short time offer. Number 1. What kind of store is Gmart? Number 2. What is being announced? Number 3. What should interested shoppers do? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following announcement. Thank you for coming here today on such short notice. The purpose of today's special meeting is to distribute company identity cards to all factory workers. The reason for meeting in the company cafeteria is so that I can explain our policy concerning these ID cards to all assembly line workers at the same time. When our facility was smaller, everyone basically knew everyone else. But since we've expanded our operations by nearly 30% over the last two years, we in management have decided we need to control access to the factory floor more carefully. Please be sure to always have your ID card with you at all times and show it to the security guard every time you enter any factory building. Otherwise, you won't be able to enter the building. Thank you for your cooperation. For more information, please refer to the handout attached to your ID card. Number 1. What is this announcement mainly about? Number 2. Who is the intended audience? Number 3. What will happen to people who do not follow these instructions? Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following radio broadcast. Good evening and welcome to KPED's bi weekly broadcast, Meet the Leaders, where every other week we introduce you to an important member of our local business community. This week's guest is Michelle Douglas, the owner of Douglas Printing Company. Michelle can be a role model for many of our less fortunate citizens, showing how hard work and dedication can make anything possible. Coming from a very poor background, Michelle worked three different part time jobs to put herself through college. Even before she graduated, she started Douglas Printing in her uncle's garage. Now it has grown into the largest printing company in the state. Let's welcome Michelle Douglas. Number 1. How often is the program broadcast? Number 2. Who is Michelle Douglas? Number 3. Why is Michelle Douglas's success so impressive? Number 
Questions 1 through 3 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Mr. Bronson. This is Patrick at Dave's Auto Repair. I'm calling to let you know that I've finished the repairs on your car. The good news is that I finally was able to find the water pump and radiator hoses for your car. It's not easy to find the right parts for classic cars as old as yours. The bad news is that the bill is going to be more than I originally estimated, because the parts supplier charged almost double what I'd expected. Anyway, I'd appreciate it if you could give me a call when you get this message. If you give me your credit card information over the phone, we'll take care of your bill without your having to come into the shop. Then we can deliver your car to you at your convenience. We're open every day except Sunday from 8 to 6. Number 1. What is this message mainly about? Number 2. What problem did Patrick have? Number 3. What should Mr. Bronson do next? Questions 4 through 6 refer to the following announcement. May I have your attention, please? Would all passengers on Northeastern Flight 753 for Milwaukee, originally scheduled to leave at 350, please proceed to Gate 17? The fog has now lifted, allowing connecting flights from Memphis and Denver to arrive. Passengers from those connecting flights should be in the terminal within 10 minutes or so, as we would like to begin boarding Flight 753 at 5, 15 minutes from now. Again, all passengers on Northeastern Flight 753, please proceed to Gate 17 immediately. Thank you for your patience. Number 4. What is the reason for the flight delay? Number 5. What is the final destination of Flight 753? Number 6. When will the flight begin boarding? Questions 7 through 9 refer to the following news report. This is Roadwise, your every hour on the hour traffic report. It's 7 a.m. and if you've gotten out of bed and pulled back the curtains already, you know it's clear and sunny after all of that rain last night. That's the good news. Fair skies overhead. The bad news is that the heavy rains last night caused some flooding on the downtown expressway. And due to water on the road, inbound traffic is down to one lane. So if you're commuting to work downtown, it's best to avoid the expressway and to take an alternate route. Number 7. What is this report mainly about? Number 8. What are the current weather conditions? Number 9. What is the problem on the downtown expressway? Questions 10 through 12 refer to the following introduction. Good afternoon. As you probably know, I'm Carla Rodriguez, Head of Human Resources, and today I'd like to welcome you to our second in-house training session. Last week, Ananda Singh from Tech Support gave us a great one-hour training session on how to use our company email program, and today Sharon Jennings from the Switchboard will help us learn how to more fully utilize our telephone systems with all those wonderful features such as voicemail, call forwarding, and overseas direct dialing. In fact, by the time this one-hour seminar is finished, you should be able to really use that simple-looking but actually very complex piece of equipment on your office desk. Number 10. Where does this introduction take place?
Number 11. Who is Carla Rodriguez? Number 12. What will Sharon Jennings talk about? Questions 13 through 15 refer to the following talk. Let me begin our last meeting of the year by saying thank you for all of your hard work in product development. Over the past 11 months, we've launched several new product lines, and they are doing well in the marketplace. Our holiday sales are up 30% over last year so far. As team leader, I have to say that you are making me look very good. Before we begin going over our budget for next year, I have one announcement. I'm sad to say Kathy Smith is leaving us. She's been a great assistant to me, but I'm happy to say that it's because she's been promoted to director of our design department. So we'll still see a lot of her, and she'll probably come up with even better products for us to market in the future. Number 13. When is this talk most likely being given? Number 14. Who is listening to this talk? Number 15. What happened to Kathy Smith? Day 6. Listening, Oyo. 1. Speed, Nare, Yo. Review 1. Oh no! I forgot to bring my wallet with me. I can't pay for these groceries. And I'm afraid our store is just about to close. We'll be open tomorrow from 9 to 6, though. 6? That's earlier than usual, isn't it? Yes, it is. We'll close early because of the national holiday the next day. Number 1. Who is the woman? Number 2. What is the man's problem? Number 3. What will happen tomorrow? Review 2. Would you like to go to see a movie this afternoon? Sure. How about that new British comedy? Sorry, I saw that last week. It was great. There's an interesting French film playing. How about that? Why not? Let's sit close to the screen, though, so we can read the subtitles easily. Number 4. What are the speakers discussing? Number 5. What does the woman say about the British comedy? Number 6. What will the speakers probably do in the afternoon? Ni. Business Tango Oboe Yo. Review 1. Jennifer, can you please make copies of this report for me? Certainly, Mr. Benson. How many should I make? Let's see, one for the sales manager and one for the president. Better make one more, though, just in case. So a total of three, then, right? I'll do it right away. Number seven. Who most likely is Jennifer? Number eight. How many copies will be made? Number 9. Who will receive copies of the report? Review 2. I heard that our human resources director, Bill Jamison, is going to retire. You're right. The CEO is going to officially announce it to all employees tomorrow. 
Oh, is that why everyone has to go to the company auditorium tomorrow morning? Exactly. And from what I hear, Bill's replacement will also be introduced at that time. Number 10. What are the speakers mainly discussing? Number 11. What will happen to Bill Jameson? Number 12. Who will be introduced tomorrow? San. Bunpo o master shio. Deryu ichi. Do you know what time our meeting starts this afternoon? It was supposed to have been two o'clock, but it has been moved back by an hour. Hmm, so it starts at three? I was supposed to meet a client at 3.45. You should still be okay. I heard the meeting is only supposed to last 30 minutes. Number 13. Where does this conversation most likely take place? Number 14. What time will the meeting probably start? Number 15. What is the man concerned about? I'd like to return this sweater. It's the wrong size. Do you have the receipt? No, I don't. It was a gift from my sister. Well, without a receipt, I cannot refund the money. If you'd like to exchange it for the right size, though, that would be possible. Number 16. What would the woman like to do? Number 17. What does the woman say about the receipt? Number 18. What does the man offer the woman? Let me get straight to the point. The reason I've asked all of our sales staff to come today is to confirm our company's transportation policy. Especially, I want to talk about our sales team's use of taxis. First of all, I understand that there may possibly be special occasions when it is necessary to use a taxi because, for example, it may be raining hard outside and your customer's office is far from the train station. However, except for that type of situation, our basic policy is to use trains and buses. Besides, it's more healthy to walk, right? But the main thing is for us to control our transportation expenses. Number 19. Who is the likely audience for this talk? Number 20. What is the purpose of this talk? Number 21. What does the speaker mainly encourage the listeners to do? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Janet Gaines, Head of Human Resources. I'm here today to explain the changes in our company's employee insurance plans. Due to a recent change in the tax law, all employees will now need to pay some small portion of the cost for their health and life insurance plans. We have prepared several possible options for you to choose from and we have done our best to make sure your financial burden is as small as possible. 
please contact the Human Resources Department before the end of this month to schedule an appointment with an HR representative, who can help you decide which plan will be best for you. Number 22. What will Janet Gaines mainly speak about? Number 23. Why have new procedures become necessary? Number 24. What should audience members do next? これでこの CD は終わりです。